In this episode of Our American Republic, we will discuss the political philosopher Montesquieu and the application of his theory on separation of powers to our constitutional republic. Montesquieu was the most cited philosopher in colonial America before the American Revolution, and he was referenced as a source by the Federalists and Anti-Federalists alike, accounting for more than a quarter of their citations during the constitutional debates. So, who was Montesquieu? Born in France on January 18, 1689, Montesquieu lived during the Age of Reason, also known as the Age of Enlightenment. Though his full name was Charles-Louis de Seconda, Varun de la Brede de Montesquieu, he is most often referred to only as Montesquieu. He was one of the principal thinkers at the heart of this great advancement in political and social thought. During the 18th century, Montesquieu made substantial contributions to the Enlightenment through his written philosophical works until his death on February 10, 1755. Published in 1748, Montesquieu's masterpiece was entitled The Spirit of the Laws. In this work, he built upon the writings of earlier liberal philosophers such as John Locke. He examined governments ranging from democratic to despotic and defined those that best set the limits to the use of arbitrary power. In The Spirit of the Laws, Montesquieu emphasized limited government powers through essential checks in order to protect the liberty of the people. Montesquieu states, It has been eternally observed that any man who has power is led to abuse it. Power must check power by the arrangement of things. He continues, In a state there are three sorts of powers. By the first, the legislative makes laws. By the second, the executive makes peace or war, sends embassies, establishes security, and prevents invasions. The last will be called the power of judging. In making his point about separation, Montesquieu writes, When legislative power is united with executive power, there is no liberty, nor is there liberty when the power of judging is not separate from legislative power and from executive power. Montesquieu's philosophies on separation of powers are reflected in the structure of the government defined within our Constitution. The founders designed our new republic with not only a separate legislature and chief executive, but also with a separate judiciary, which is unique to Montesquieu's writing. Likewise, Montesquieu's concept of the executive veto on the legislature is also included within our Constitution. Montesquieu's works were well known and often quoted by the founders. The separation of powers, a key characteristic of American government, is often taken for granted in governmental discussions in the modern era. That said, how do Montesquieu's theories on government apply to us today? How well has the government maintained its essential checks and balances? What modern events highlight the need for separation of powers among the President, the Congress, and the judiciary? Mm -hmm.